Let's take a look at how video layers work. I've got these two screens that I just designed and sketched and imported into Flinto. And I wanna make it so that when you click this purchase button, instead of going directly to the purchase screen, you're gonna see a loading state. And this is really important because oftentimes you're designing something and you don't really think about those loading states and then you know you give it to a developer, they figure out how to do it themselves and maybe it's not quite what you would have done. So it's important to prototype those things. So I'm just gonna duplicate that first screen and my idea for this, for this loading state is gonna to be to replace the word purchase with a loading spinner. So I'll just delete that. And I've got a spinner GIF. And uh, with the new video support in Flinto version 1.1, you can drop animated GIFs or movie files directly into your document and they'll play. And uh, so let's just open this, this uh, screen up in the preview. And there you can see it's animating. So what I'm gonna do is link this purchase button over to this screen, and I'll just use a fade in transition. And then I'll use a timer on this screen, so after uh, one and a half seconds, it'll link to the purchased screen, the last screen there. And for that one, I'll use a new transition, and let's just place this over the top. I'll fade out the background. I'm gonna have this scale up and give it a bit of a bounce. And this text here, I'll have that fade in as well. All right, that works. All right, so let's try this out. I'm gonna to go to the home screen, and when I click purchase, I see that loader, and after one and a half seconds, it transitions to the final screen. So I'll just put a link on this screen back to the beginning, just so that I can test out the whole flow. I'll try it again. Cool, so that's a nice use of timer links and video layers to really add some realism to this prototype. Here's another example using video layers, and this time I'm using an actual movie file rather than an animation. And this right here is a uh, video layer, and if I switch over to the preview, you can see the videos playing here. And the cool thing about this one is it kind of just provides a atmosphere and an effect in the background rather than being a part of the UI necessarily. And uh, let me show you a cool trick, which is if you copy this video layer into another screen, which I've done here, I've got the same exact layer that I copy and pasted, it'll maintain the playback position through the transition. So I'll go back to the preview here and watch when I click this button, the same video is playing in the background and it didn't restart or anything like that. So you can seamlessly keep the video playing and it really sells the illusion that you're not um, navigating from one screen to another, but you're just uh, using the app and things are popping up and all that. So um, this is a really nice effect. And you can use video layers for something like a loading spinner, like I showed in the last example, something like this where it's adding a bit of style or atmosphere to your app. And you could even use it to create a really complicated transitions. So if you had a a really uh, wild effect that you wanted to add to your prototype that you couldn't quite do with the transition designer, you could do it in a um, animation app and import that as a video into Flinto and just pop it in as a video layer. So it's a really versatile feature, can be useful in a lot of situations.